How's it going guys, Kels Prime here and today's video will be the first in a series of four videos designed to explain the basics and abilities of all four javelins available to you in Anthem. For those not in the know, in Anthem you have four different javelins you can pilot, the Ranger, Colossus, Storm and Interceptor and each javelin plays not only differently to each other but has unique abilities to make them stand apart and specialise in areas the others do not. If you want to show your support for this video and channel, drop a like, subscribe and share. Let's get to that 2k subs as my next milestone. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the addresses you're seeing at the bottom of your screen right now to stay up to date on all things channel related. Right, so in this video we will start with the Javelin Ranger. The Ranger is the most balanced of all Anthem classes with a good amount of firepower and tools to resolve any if not most problems. As it's the first suit you will get to use when you start the game, I thought it prudent that this would be my starting point when it comes to going through the skills and abilities ultimates of each javelin. The ranger's versatility means it's a jack of all trades and can be effective in multiple ways. It is capable of wielding every weapon type with the exception of heavy weapons, much like the interceptor and storm. Heavy weapons are only usable and exclusive to the colossus. With access to a wide variety of weapon types, the Ranger is a true wildcard that can command a place in any team and in any mission, making it a very desirable choice. Let's have a look at the abilities of the Ranger. Its melee ability is Shock Mace, deploys the electrified mace to shock the enemy. Its combo is a high impact single target max damage attack, which is pretty awesome, especially if you're fighting those bosses and you're trying to burn it down. The Ranger has the ability to throw different types of grenades that have unique effects on their enemies. It has a frag grenade, which deals impressive damage in a large area of effect. Inferno grenade, which ignites an area, dealing damage and setting enemies ablaze. Frost grenade, which is pretty awesome, damages and freezes enemies in place, giving you free reign to wreak havoc upon your enemies. You have seeker grenades, and these split into smaller submunitions, which seek out the nearest enemy. Think the Division and Seeker Mines and you're pretty much halfway there. Again it's pretty awesome and again does a little wide AoE damage. Finally it has a Sticky Bomb which attaches to a single target for a contained high damage blast. Next we have the Assault Launcher Gear. This is where a number of modules can be loaded for an extra burst of power and flexibility in combat. The Ranger can use homing missiles which fires a projectile that seeks out a target for a small area of effect explosion. Not a mass effect, no pun intended, but a small area of effect, which basically goes in line with its single target attack, so it's in a small radius. Energy Pulse unleashes a blast of pure energy, hitting a single target with incredible force. Again pretty much living up to its name. Spark Beam fires a sustained beam of energy for continuous damage. This could be AoE, it doesn't say it is, but regardless it is a single beam that does a lot of damage. Venom Darts launches a volley of darts that seek out a target for acid damage. Again this is a single target attack. And finally we have the Blast Missile, which goes against the previous four abilities as it fires a missile that explodes for our area of effect damage. So though the ranger specialises in single target attacks, it can do AoE attacks but just not as effective as say the Colossus. Next we move on to support gear. What are support gears? Support gear are special abilities that help and aid the team in battle. So what can the ranger do? It has muster point, the ability to spawn a rally point and restore abilities cooldowns for the whole team on the battlefield who are in range. It also has Bulwark Point, which deploys a spherical field which deflects incoming enemy projectiles. This is pretty awesome, so it means its utility is not only great in the single target range, it's got very good support abilities, and on top of this, it also has minor, albeit, AoE control. Unique to every javelin, every javelin will have its own special ability when it comes to evading, dodging, shielding. For Ranger, this is strafing and you can strafe in midair while you're flying or while you're on the ground you can dodge around in order to avoid being targeted and avoid being hit. As you can see on screen the way the javelin is flying and dodging is pretty cool and it does mean that enemies can't hit you. The ultimate ability for the ranger is a multi-target missile battery. This targets a number of enemies with guided projectiles and fires a series of mini missiles for a devastating effect and a massive amount of damage. 
And that's pretty much the Ranger in a nutshell. That's the abilities you will have once you've fully unlocked everything for the Javelin and it's pretty much what you're going to come to expect when you come to customizing your Ranger Javelin. As a jack of all trades, the Ranger demonstrates itself as a formidable Javelin that excels in single target damage. It's got a powerful ultimate and its combo deals high impact damage. It can use almost any weapon and will most likely be the most customizable in terms of Javelins. Don't quote me on that specifically as a gospel point, however, being a jack of all trades, there usually is a compromise and there is the upper scale of the min maxing. At least that's what tradition holds anyway. Time will tell if this is the case in the world of Anthem. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll be covering the next three javelins soon in a similar manner to give you all a better view and perspective of all four javelins. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or any comments, leave them below. I do read every single comment and I will respond to all comments made. Until next time, remain legend. I shouldn't actually I think the best